There's one first world country that hasn't locked its citizens down to stop the spread of COVID-19, Sweden. And now a US pastor is using that information and Sweden's rate of infections to say it's time to open up the United States. Is that right? It's time for the Truth of Meter Minute. Hey everyone, I'm Aaron with PolitiFact. Sweden is a bit of an anomaly when it comes to its response to fighting COVID-19. There's no lockdowns and quarantines in Sweden. Schools, bars, and restaurants are still open, though the country is practicing social distancing. Sweden is trying to pursue what's called herd immunity to deal with COVID-19. What they're doing is sheltering people in place, like the elderly and those who are otherwise vulnerable, but letting everyone else kind of go out in public so that the virus slowly spreads through the country. U.S. preacher Franklin Graham said Sweden's policy is working. Here's what he had to say on Facebook. I read yesterday that Sweden had not shut down, but their people were following social distancing and other protocols with the government stressing personal responsibility. And their infection rate still remains lower than the UK's, Italy's, and Spain's. Here are the facts about Sweden and its infection rate. We looked at the data from a group called Our World in Data. They got their information from the European CDC. On the numbers alone, Graham has a point. The known infection rate in Sweden was about 1,845 per 1 million people. That's as of April 27th. That is lower than Italy, Spain, and the United Kingdom. But that's not the only way to look at this. Let's look at the death rate. In Sweden right now, the death rate is about 12%. That's higher than Spain. And for instance, it's significantly higher than here in the United States. Whatever the numbers say, it's important not to read too much into them. Because one of the things we know is there's problems with testing in Sweden, the United States, and all around the world. For this fact check, we spoke with Anders Tegnell. He's the man who's credited with implementing Sweden's response. He told us the infection rate, that's the figure that Graham used, really isn't a good way to compare one country with another. We asked Tegnell if Sweden's strategy is effective. Here's what he had to say. Partly, he said, to the extent that the health system managed the challenge and that there are always free beds, not so well in protecting the elderly. Okay, so for PolitiFact, we rate this claim half true, which means it's partially accurate, but is misleading and takes things out of context. For all the latest fact checks about the coronavirus, be sure to go to politifact.com slash coronavirus and subscribe to see more videos like this. Hey, I got some good news for you, by the way. After we posted this fact check, uh, Graham actually amended his Facebook post to take out the reference to Sweden. So yay for the truth.